The Gallatin County Sheriff's Office is investigating a pretty unique kind of burglary in the Belgrade area, one that was caught on camera. As MTN's Cody Boyer reports, thieves are stealing stuff right off of people's front porches. It's really, a, for them, a, a crime of opportunity. For William Lambden, the morning started like most others. I set the saw outside at about 6 a.m. and set it in front of my picture window where it could be seen. And, you know, I'd be sitting right in my living room sipping coffee. And then I went and brushed my teeth. In that time frame, my phone goes off. It was his door's security system. I didn't think anything of it until I go out front and my saw is missing. I'm like, what the heck? What he found when he looked through the camera's recordings was nothing short of shocking. A group of men, seemingly just walking by, sees the moment, grabbing his saw, throwing it in the back of a pickup truck, then dashing off. Which is super lame because you think uh, after you've been in a neighborhood for a couple of years that you're safe there. Now this is something that has happened to many different people, including you and me at some point, but William's front yard wasn't going to stop these guys from unplugging the saw from this spot, coming up right here on his front porch and carting off with it. But thanks to this eye right here, he was able to catch the whole thing in the act. William says others reported similar missing things from their own porches, and it gets even better. With the help of Bozeman City Police and the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office, the saw was found about 90 miles away in a pawn shop in Helena. I had a serial number to give him, and sure enough, after I read him the number, he said, yeah, that's what we got up there. Sheriff Brian Gutkin says this unfortunately happens a lot, but having this footage is a turn of luck. Most of the time we don't have all of that information, which makes our world a lot easier. As to his thoughts on if the other cases are connected. I think this was a random one-time hit. Uh, we've had other construction thefts, but it hasn't been tied in with this one. And as for William, his eyes will be a bit more trained on his saw when he gets it back. Our community is very close and we have uh, an excellent investigative team. I hope that serves as a deterrent for any would-be criminals in the future. Wow. Okay, well, investigators are working with the pawn shop to return the saw to the victim, but the pawn shop legally has a hold on it for 30 days.